Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shukra and in this video we are going to be talking all about Mason Goyard. So Goyard bags. Why they are so popular and what makes them special. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Okay, so first off, I feel like the most obvious one for this brand for Goyard is the fact that they are exclusive and a little bit elusive. These bags Goyard in general when it comes to their marketing they're kind of mysterious you know they don't really advertise they don't really sell things online and they haven't done any collaborations from what I am aware of they do not tell like you know their prices online you can't really find them you, you, it's really tough to figure out how things cost until you actually visit one of their few boutiques and when I say few, they do not have a lot. You, know? you really have to investigate in order to find where they have stores. So that's another thing as well. So they do not advertise. They do not disclose their prices online. They don't have like, you know, a regular website. You just really have to show up there and you kind of have to figure out and know exactly what you want beforehand and then hope and pray you have the right amount of money with you. So that is something that is very interesting but at the same time it kind of keeps people intrigued because of the mystery you know it keeps people intrigued and they really want to get their hands on one of these leather goods next up for what makes this special this brand special Goyard is the fact that they have everything being handcrafted and I think this is a staple for all luxury goods because you know you are paying a hefty price so there has to be at least some good valid reason why and that comes from the fact that these things are being handcrafted by artisans skilled artisans so the people making every single bag are taking you know a lot of time a lot of care to ensure that whatever they're making is handcrafted and the best that it can possibly be so it definitely takes weeks to months depending on you know the size and the type of design of the bag just to create one of their leather good items and then on top of this they also make their items from a special material called Goyardin, I believe. So this is a coated fabric that was invented back in 1892, I believe. So it's pretty durable, it's water resistant, it's lightweight. So all of this helps make the distinctive, you know, pattern that we see on all of the Goyard um, leather goods really stand out and it really is their staple. I feel like Goyard since last year has been on the come up. In a sense, I feel like everyone wants to get their hands on something from Goyard. They've been around for so long. They have a lot of history. They have a lot of heritage um, behind their inspiration. And I think this really helps make Goyard a classic because Goyard has always been around. People have always been rocking it. I feel as if maybe it was on the quiet luxury end of things. That's why... You know, a lot of people were not looking for it, but now I think with the whole quiet luxury thing, a lot of people have their eyes on Goyard a whole lot more. And I think they're really able to see how, you know, durable and classic these items are in the brand as a whole. So Goyard is timeless. It is versatile. You see different age groups wearing these bags. You see different types of demographics using their bags and i will say i feel as if their demographic has really expanded in the last couple of years due to their increasing popularity their items are durable they're easy to maintain so you can pass these down from generation to generation and for the most part most of their designs are just really effortless you know and elegant designs and they're not like crazy and they can go with a lot of different outfits and a lot of different occasions which makes them a staple so given everything I have stated, it's no wonder why Goyard is becoming really hard to get. And when you do have something from Goyard, you kind of like mark your territory, you know? You don't really give it up too easily because of the fact that first, it's hard to get one with the few boutiques they have and they don't really advertise like that. So you can't just go on their website and buy one. So it's like, it's hard to get a bag. And then when you have it, you're not about to give it up so easily. 
And we all know the power of social media. We all know the power of trends. Some people might say Goyard right now, their popularity increasing. Is this a trend? I think Goyard is, hmm, I would put them in a category of Van Cleef and Arpels. They've always been around, but year after year, they keep increasing in their popularity. Their demographics keep expanding. And I think that's the same thing we're seeing with Goyard right now. They're in the beginning stages of what happened with Van Cleef and Arpels, and they just started. Even though they've been around for years upon years, the new wave, the new generation is just making them that trend piece. And not trend in a bad way, I think trend in a classic way, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and another good thing about Goyard is the fact that they are very distinct. They are very noticeable in a sense that you will not confuse them with another brand. If that, you know, if that really comes across as um, <laughs> clearly as I'm trying to say, you're not going to confuse a Goyard item, Goyard bag, whatever, with another brand. And I think sometimes with a lot of the luxury fashion houses, luxury leather goods, you can really confuse them because their styles are so interchangeable and so similar that if you just take off the name on the bag, you can easily place the logo of a different luxury house on there and you'll think, oh yeah, of course, this bag comes from this fashion house. So I think Goyard being able to stand out on their own has only helped them in the long run. So let me know down in the comments if you own anything from Goyard or if maybe you just recently learned of Goyard. I will say for me, I've known about Goyard for a while, but it's because I've seen their bags here and there. You know, it's one of those pieces that you do not see around all the time. So I've seen their pieces here and there. And whenever I hear someone say, oh, wow, this person has something from Goyard. It's always in slight amazement because of the fact that they're so exclusive. So I've always had my eye on Goyard, but not to the point where I was like driving myself to the point that, you know, I need to have something from them. So I think it's very interesting how things are playing out for this brand. So if you have something from this brand, let me know and let me know how the durability is. Is it worth it? Are the prices worth it? For me, I really find it interesting that finding the prices of their products is so difficult. It's so difficult that it's really who you know and where you are because you're not really going to be able to find anything. And, you know, their changes to prices all the time. So you don't really know if the information you're getting from this person who bought something or another person is accurate at the time because they're so secretive. Which for some brands you would think would hurt them being so secretive, but for Goyard in their case, it's only helped them and it's helped them maintain their authenticity. I think that's one thing people really like about Goyard. And as I said, this is a brand infused with history and heritage and a lot of people really enjoy that and they do not like how sometimes a brand a fashion house is so different in identity depending on the year and you know whatever is happening around in the world as always i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if this is your first time watching please make sure to hit the subscribe button and come back for more videos and also please make sure to hit the like button as well Bye.